Well, hello, this is a very simple spider battle video. It's one that has been commented about many times in my Redback spider videos. The Daddy Long Leg Spider versus the Redback Spider. And so many people tell me that Daddy Long Leg Spider is the major predator of the Australian Deadly Redback Spider. Let's see. Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. In this spider battle, neither the Redback Spider or Daddy Long Leg Spider was helped or provoked during the battle. I wanted to see the action play out as naturally as possible. It's a very simple equation. There'll be two spiders in there, but only one will come out. Okay, let's put the red back in with the daddy long legs. Yeah. And it is going to be really curious to see how this plays out because I've never seen it before. And from what I can see at the moment, they are keeping their distance. I don't think they know each other is in there. I notice both these Spiders will have a style where they'll sway when they've got threatening things around. And the red back tends to do a lot of things with its front legs in a sense to taste what's going on. And maybe it's sensing that it's in a bit of a danger zone. And over here, well, Daddy Long Legs is just doing what Daddy Long Legs is do. Whoa, the red back is almost out of the container here. It has got a web up. Down you get. That's the thing with red backs. If they do get a web out of their backside, uh, they'll easily climb out of a bowl. And I've seen them climb up, climb up bowls, and these two spiders are very close to each other. I'll put it this way, I can't see that red back there uh, jumping on the daddy long legs yet. And maybe we're going to have first contact here. Ooh, yeah, hey. Mm, well, I didn't see the red back uh, making an advance there. In fact, it's just run to the other side. And if you keep running around here, you know who you're going to end up with? The same thing that you had before. Now, if this plays out where I don't see any definitive action from either spider, I'll just put it down to one of those YouTube myths, <laughs> again, that people say and it doesn't come true. Oh! Hang on a second. The Daddy Long Legs is doing a bit of action there, but it's just backed off. The red back is frozen in fright. Uh, Daddy Long Legs is over the other side now. The red back is now crawling towards, towards each other. Oh, here we go. Another contact. What's going to happen, hey? Touchy feelies and the Daddy Long Legs again retreats, trying to climb the bowl. I'll be uh, honest here with you. I will put my money on the Redback Spider if I was a gambling person. Just because I've seen how brutal and uh, efficient they are at killing. There's been so many things I've put into my spider tank that those guys have cleaned up. It isn't funny. And again, the spiders are keeping their distance a bit. Um, they're probably just sussing out exactly what's going on here. Daddy Long Legs, got amazingly long legs, I'm dare so that's why it gets its name. It's probably got a scientific name of Longy Legius Spiderifius. I wouldn't, I'm not a scientist, as you can tell. Um, but I think when the amazing aspect to the spiders is the length of its legs, it is such a delicate creature, and you think, how could that thing ever kill a redback? That's what I query. As for that thing there, it's black, it's evil, it's got lots of killing potential. And uh, it's got this really, really sticky web that it enables uh, to basically disable who it wants to kill. That's its major weapon. Okay, they're coming around again. Bit of a touchy-feely thing here. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm not seeing a spider battle like I've seen with other spiders. Look, I've had the red backs up against many other spiders and they just go bang and take spiders out. Uh, the only other spider I've seen them be cautious with is the black house spider. Maybe they're being very cautious with this daddy long leg spider. Maybe this is a bit of a clue. The spiders again are at uh, either side of this death tank here. A bit like, you ever watched the third Mad Max film, Beyond Thunder Dumb? I don't know what it's called in the USA. It's the one with uh, Tina Turner in it. That's a curious film to watch. I think of all the Mad Max films, it's the one not to watch. The nicest way to say it. And the red back spider is just assessing its ground again. It's not one of the large alpha females, that one, that is what I call the medium sized female. I've had many sized females in the spider tank, um, you know, all of them super deadly. I haven't seen the daddy long legs do its wavery thing. Or well, maybe it was doing it then. But um, really, well, what I would say is I'm seeing a lot of respect from either spider. Um, because I know the Redbacks will just pounce on something once it sees something that they can take out. It's certainly not pouncing on that Daddy Long Legs from what I can see. And again, it'll be coming around to contact time because they go round and round in circles in here and eventually they meet up. I'm trying to climb the bowl. I don't think there's any more web out of that Redback because if they do get that web out, they can climb. They can climb super fast. As for Daddy Long Legs here, 
just pacing it out, going round and round and round. What? See another touch here. Funny, it could fall back on its legs there, and it's looking over towards the redback spider. Hmm. Maybe it's going to make this miraculous move that we've never known about, and just jump it and bite it. I just can't see it happening. You know, lots of people talk about this, but I've got to see with my own two eyes to believe it. So, yeah, you know, as, as unfaithful as that sounds, uh, that's a bit of an insight into me, I dare say. I've got to see it to believe it, okay? And I'm waiting to see it. I am desperately waiting to see this happen. Ooh, okay, it was a touch then. Uh, but the Daddy Longlegs just took off backwards. Okay, the Redback's just doing its thing, trying to climb out. No success. As for the sex of the spiders, I definitely know that's a female redback spider because uh, they are black and have that red stripe in their back. As for the daddy long legs, blah blah, I have got no idea. Hey, there's that swaying thing when they're feeling threatened. That's apparently that. That's a threatening thing, I think, uh, when they sway. I'm reading something on the wiki page. I've actually, half forgotten it because I've got only a few brain cells left in my head. I know the spider experts can explain the sway for me. I've certainly seen the redbacks do the spider sway. I'm about to see some contact here. Come on, do something. Come on, just kill. One spider jumping. Oh, <laughs> whoa, there's a lot of leg action going on there. Lots of leg action and a lot of activity. Just going to spin the bowl around. Maybe we're starting to see uh, a part of the meat of the sandwich exposed here. It's not the sort of spider fight I was expecting. There's a lot of caution going on here. Maybe that's a bit of an insight into what's going on between these two spiders, eh? Hey? Hmm. Redback spider's just, you know, doing its thing, going around here, but then again, that daddy longlegs isn't exactly jumping on the redback. I don't know if you can hear, there's a cat purring behind me, Fluffy's just behind me. She probably thinks I'm totally mad, I'm looking into this bowl, she can't see the spiders, but she thinks, what do these humans do? This guy's standing with that black thing in his hand, he's got black gloves on, and he's spinning the bowl around in front of him. They're crazy. Ooh, hang on. Yeah. This isn't the event I was hoping it to, to be, and I think a lot of the people who were swearing to me, Leo, the daddy long legs are the ones that kill the redbacks. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I know you guys are going to argue with me, but hey, I've got to see it to believe it. How many times have I got to say that? Hey, oh, come on. Come on. I'm not the sort of person that gets tweezers in there and makes things fight. I just want to see it happen out naturally. Mind you, it's in a bowl there. They've got nowhere to go. Something's going to happen. Either they're going to fight or they're going to breed. I don't think it's going to be breeding myself. Come on, guys. Fight, fight, fight. Well, no. They're not fighting. They're just running around in circles. Also, people saying it's the most one of the most poisonous spiders on the planet. But I think there's a lot of myth busting to go on with the daddy long legs. And then people saying, oh, no, it's called a cellar spider and whatever else. Maybe they're called different things in different parts of the world. You know, I, I, was, I always thought, well, you know, Daddy Longlegs is a Daddy Longlegs. That's what every child sort of learns about these spiders. You sort of play with them when you're kids. We do in Australia. You've got to play with spiders because there's so many about. Now, I can't see this epic battle going on, can you? Oh, well, mind you, I might have spoken a bit too soon. It does this funny rolling back thing. I've seen the redbacks there. It's like a tuck and roll. No, it's just running away from the redback every time, hey? Every time, it's run all the way around here, just spinning the bowl around. There's not a jump on it, I can tell you that. I'm not going to let it play out much further because I think I've given it enough time and I think the myth is busted. I don't care what the spider experts say. Uh, if these two were a threat to each other, I think it would have been over by now. They've been in there together for, it'd be over 10 minutes. because I haven't recorded everything. Um, and, well, then you might say, well, 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 they're not hungry. Well, I think these spiders are basically very territorial and I, from what I've seen of the redbacks they'll just kill anything that's within their territory and I have a funny feeling that the daddy long legs may be the same and they come up and they touch and the daddy long legs sort of runs away every single time I mean surely the redback would have been doing some web action maybe it is deadly scared of what's going on in there and who knows and the redbacks gonna maybe come around the other way one thing about the Daddy Longlegs, it's got a great reach. They talk about fighters and the length of their arms and stuff, and also with snakes. They talk about the strike distance on snakes. So the Daddy Longlegs have got amazingly long legs for its body. And that would have to give you an advantage if you're sussing out here you wanted to kill. Yeah. 
No. I think this myth is busted. Well, you know, sometimes I think something is about to happen in here and then it all just decouples. So many times I've seen the Redbacks will jump on a spider really fast, the web comes out all over Red Rover, but in the strangest way it's not happening here. Maybe that is really doing speaking in volumes here. For the fact there seems to be a whole ton of respect going on towards this uh, Daddy Longleg spider, maybe that is the only proof we need to see that it is a major threat. But you know what? I need to see the kill. I need to see the action. I need to see that spider do what it does best. I'm just not seeing it. Uh, so many people have said to me the Redback Spider's major predator is the Daddy Longleg Spider there. And these guys have been in there. It would be pushing up for now nearly 20 minutes. I'm trying to keep this video as condensed as possible, but I need you to see what's going on. I think we've seen enough of the uh, I'm going to respect you business going on. I think I'll call it a draw. I think that's the fairest thing to do. Uh, for the fact that Daddy Longleaf hasn't been jumped on by the red back and bound in web and given a big sticky fling of web uh, speaks volumes that it does have respect for that spider. Uh, I know for a fact that red back spider there is a skilled killer uh, and will take out most things that it is near or gets caught in its web. So maybe we learnt something from this video, uh, maybe we learnt zero. Um, maybe you can point to me a video where uh, Daddy Longlegs takes out a redback spider or a black widow or something. Uh, you're probably saying, well, Leah, you did it all wrong. Well, I'm just trying to do this as natural as possible. I'm not in there provoking anything. I want them to act upon each other in a natural sense. And I'm just not seeing it. I'm seeing two spiders that are basically quite respectful for each other. In fact, I would say that the Daddy Longlegs does, does more walking away from the other spider than the redback does from the Daddy Longlegs. So in a sense of a battle, I'd actually give the points to the Redback Spider, but hey, you may want to argue that. I'd better leave this video here. I'm sorry we couldn't see any major spider conflict or anything graphic like you like to see. But hopefully we have learned something about these two spiders. Right up the end here, I'll put up the points of contact in slow motion so we can see the spider body language going on between these two spiders. As I said earlier, I'm giving this fight to the Redback Spider because from what I could see, the Daddy Longleg Spider was backing away from the Redback Spider more than I saw the Redback Spider backing away from the Daddy Longlegs. I know some people will say, oh, it wasn't a fair battle. Neither spider had their web structures laid out uh, to feel comfortable at home in defending their home. And sure, that might be the case, but because I can see into the future in the videos you haven't seen, I've got the Redback Spider up against some other major predators, and what I've noticed is the Redback Spider's body language will change, and I think the best way I could say it is the Redback Spider will do as much backing away and keeping its distance away from things that it feels threatened of. And I would say in this video is a classic example of the Redback Spider being very protective of itself, and I've got a feeling it knew exactly it was in a very dangerous little spot. It really strips back to one of the basic instincts of survival, you either fight or you flee. And I think in this video we could see the Redback Spider and the Daddy Longleg Spider fleeing from each other as fast as they could. Maybe I should have let the fight play out much longer, uh, but I didn't have all day to watch two spiders look at each other and run from each other. And because I've seen so many other spiders in the Redback Spider tank, I know the Redback Spider will jump on something really fast when it knows it can pull it down and have it as a meal. The one spider that I've seen it being very cautious about is the Black House Spider. But there's another part to this which I don't understand, is when I think of a Redback Spider, I think of, you know, environments which are down to the ground, which are sort of dark and they're nocturnal, and usually they're pretty hard to find, but when I think of those Daddy Longleg Spiders, well, they're often up high, they're up near the ceilings, or you go under your house, they're up under the woodwork. To me, they're not in the environments where you will find a redback spider, so I'm struggling to have the idea in my head these two spiders would get together naturally anyway. But as always, maybe the audience out there can enlighten me on some facts that I don't know about these two amazing spiders.